She has been a mushroom trader for the past five years. Her seasonal source of income is being threatened. The reduced rainfall activity is her main problem. Martha Banda, a trader, on the other hand, has completely stopped trading in mushroom. The effects of climate change cannot be more realistic. The diminishing mushroom and other forest benefits is a serious reminder of how changes in global temperatures is affecting food security. When the climate changes, the weather patterns changes in a particular place, for example, uh, if the forests, because of climate change, they receive reduced rainfall, that has a consequence on the plant life there. It's a, it's a consequence on the animal life there, on the biodiversity in that forest. It's a reason why nowadays you find in a certain places we, where productivity for the mushrooms you talked about was very high. Uh, the, di the, the types of mushrooms as well, there used to be white, yellow, red mushrooms. Nowadays that productivity has gone down. Government has a passionate appeal to Zambians. Climate change is not about the rest of the world. Climate change is about Zambia, where we indeed we may be in the global village, but the effects should be localized. When we experience these high temperatures, we do not cry that uh, they are in China. They are here in Zambia. When we, have ex when we experience droughts and there's food insecurity, it's us who suffer. Climate change is here. How do we adapt? My Z fellow Zambians, we are suffering now because also of our own activities. One of them is deforestation. If taken lightly, climate change has the potential to hold dependable income generating activities. Mary Mwekisa, ZMC News, Lusaka.